YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, we're going to be checking out Brad Williams' fun size. This right here is part one. A lot of y'all were telling me to check it out. You know what I mean? So I had to check it out. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Brad Williams. <laughs> Hey, he's ready, bro. He is ready. Yo, look at the background. It's a fun size chocolate bar. <laughs> it's not a full size bar. It's a fun size bar. Let's get Hell it. Hell yeah, you guys are happy. You guys are psyched. Of course you're happy. You know right now your story beats any one of your friends, no matter what the hell they're doing tonight. <laughs> They'll call you up tomorrow. Should have hung out with us, man. We went out to a strip club. They had a one-armed stripper. She had a cartwheel. It was ridiculous. <laughs> what kind of shit did you do? Oompa Loompa made me laugh. Fuck off. You win. Let's go. Exactly. You're happy, but of course you're happy. You've got a little person in front of you right now. People are always happy when they see midgets. You can't help it. A lot of you don't know who I am, don't know what TV shows I've been on, but I walk on stage, you're like, this is going to be good. <laughs> you see a midget, you're happy. You can't help it. No one's ever seen a midget and yelled out, well, now my day has gone to hell. That has not happened. <laughs> Bro, I am loving his energy. I'm loving his vibe. Homie just came in and, and lit up the entire room, bro. I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's get it. You see a midget, you're happy. You can't help it. No one's ever seen a midget that yelled out, well, now my day has gone to hell. That has not happened. You see this, you're smiling, you're laughing. You know it's a good shot. You got a parade and some candy coming your way. You're happy <laughs> hell. Doesn't matter. You can get fired from your job. Find out your wife is blowing some other dude. You walk down the street, you see me, you're just... <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are not using midgets properly in this country. <laughs> we have normal jobs. We should not have normal jobs. They should be giving midgets to cancer patients. <laughs> How awesome would that be? Sorry, sir, I discovered you have cancer. Damn it, here's your midget. Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, this is gold. This is gold. A lot of you didn't like that joke at first. <laughs> when I finished it, you're like, we, we will absolutely support that charity. We will support that. We should do a 5K. We should do a 5K. They're dwarves. We should do a 2.5K. We should do a 2.5K. <laughs> and that's true. I do make people happier. I did a show one time, a woman came up to me after the show and said, Brad, you're funny, I run a children's hospital. I would love it if you came down to the children's hospital, entertained the children, brought them some smiles. I said, yes, that's perfect. I mean, hell, you guys have known me now for a few minutes and you know my act is perfect for the fucking kids. Right? <laughs> I say, I'll do it, I go to the children's hospital, I'm exaggerating nothing. I walk into that door, a kid walks up to me, puts his hand on my shoulder and goes, don't worry, they'll fix you here. <laughs> <laughs> Karate oh, chop the sick kid, okay? You're not allowed to do that. Why did you, I'm there on my Saturday giving up my free time to help him. He's got to piss on my self-esteem. And, and it happened over and over again. I was walking around the hospital. There would be all these kids. I mean, God bless them. They'd be walking around, dragging their oxygen tanks behind them like that. <laughs> and they would look up and see me and go, Jesus, glad I don't have that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> why people are excited when they see a little person. I totally get it because when I'm walking around and I see another little person, I get excited too. <laughs> I do. Then you guys see two of us, you get ridiculously excited. Oh my God, there's two! 
I hope they do a trick. I, I really hope they do a trick. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I get excited when I see another little person. I'm not thinking about this constantly. It's not always on my mind. I don't walk around all day in my head just, I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget. <laughs> Yo, I, I gotta run that back one more time. Look at his little legs, bro. I'm gonna walk around all day in my head. Just, I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I know, if your life had a DVR, you would have all 30 seconds back right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget. Let's go. Yo, Brad is good. Brad is good at what he does, yeah, man. And, so, uh, and, and when I'm walking around and I see a little person, I get happy. Now, if the other dwarf I see is a male, if I see a male little person, I get excited. But at the same time, I know I have to fight him. <laughs> what? I don't know why that is. I don't want to fight him. He doesn't want to fight me. But we lock eyes. We're like, it's go time. Like, <laughs> dwarves are like Highlanders. Like, there can be only one. I, I don't know. Hey, now, yo. I see another little person and it happens to be a female. If I see a female little person, I get excited. You guys get quiet. <laughs> you see two little people come together. You're just like, oh my God. <laughs> this is like National Geographic Channel come to life. Like, Shh, don't say anything. You'll scare him. It's his mating season. <laughs> you would think that might offend me. It does not offend me. I'm going to fuck that female little person. Okay? <laughs> When it comes to dwarf pussy, I am a Dyson vacuum. I don't miss a damn thing. Hey, it's but Brad, she's a woman. She has a choice. What if she doesn't want to sleep with you? Are you kidding me? I'm in the top five midgets in show business. She's fucking me. Okay? <laughs> it's happening. I'm top five. I'm not number one. I don't have delusions of grandeur. Okay? I know where I am. Oh, shit. Right, number one. Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones. Alone. Right. <laughs> Number two is this guy named Wee Man from Jackass. He's pretty cool. Okay, okay. Some of you know who he is. Some of you are just now realizing that I am not Wee Man. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Number three is a guy named Warwick Davis. He was in a movie called Willow, an HBO show called Life is Short. I don't think I know who that is. Number four, that's me. Uh, I'm number four, it's not bad. And then number five is the chick. Damn it, what the hell is the chick's name? <laughs> no, the dwarf chick. Oh, yeah, Justin Bieber. <laughs> that is a he said Justin bitch. Bieber. I want to do bad things hey. to that woman. She is cute. <laughs> Obviously, that's a joke. Uh, but I said that one night at a comedy club in Hollywood, California. I didn't know this. Bieber was in the audience that night. Oh! He did not like that joke. <laughs> he did not like it. He walked up to me after the show. He's like, you're a son of a bitch, eh? That was not very nice. He looked up to him. He looked up to him. I love that that's a true story. <laughs> <laughs> that's it? No! What? Bro, that was seven minutes of gold. Holy crap. I'm definitely checking out part two. Not right now. That'll be a different video, different day, different time. You know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely going to check it out, record my reaction, and upload it for you guys to watch. Besides fun size, let me know what is next from Brad so I can add it to my list. And I get to it A-S-A-P. But yo, I'm going to end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, Utero MVP, baby, no cap. If you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.